A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 26th Feb. On the front page you have, Trump renews offer to mediate on Kashmir but skirts citizenship amendment. So, while President Trump has been on a visit to India, various partnership agreements have been signed. India and US now are comprehensive global strategic partners and deals on energy have also been signed. A joint statement was issued declaring India and US as comprehensive global strategic partners. And here you have violence continues in Delhi for third day. Toll climbs to 13. So 13 people have died so far in these clashes between Citizenship Amendment Act uh, supporters and Anti-Citizenship Amendment Act protesters. So curfew has been imposed in some parts of Delhi. Shoot at site orders have been issued. Then this is NDA ruled Bihar passes resolution against NRC. So Bihar has, assembly has also now unanimously passed the resolution not to implement the National Register of Citizens. It also said NPR will be implemented in the 2010 format. The earlier format which was there without asking for place of birth of parents. On page 3 you have Ghaziabad most polluted city in the world report. So, India is the fifth most polluted country as of 2019 and Ghaziabad is the, uh, Ghaziabad in NCR region is uh, ranked as the most polluted city in the world. So, this is a global compilation of PM particulate matter, PM 2.5 pollution data by a company that primarily works on air filtrations. So, this is by IQ Air. Then below you have IIT students develop ways to curb air pollution. So, IIT Delhi hosted an exhibition on clean air prototypes developed by Pan India IITs. So, the exhibition has showcased various prototypes. So, it dealt with issues like filtration of particulate matter, measurement of AQI, how to use agriculture waste to make eco-friendly products and innovations to avoid stubble burn. So here you can see Aerogram Easy is a startup incubated at IIT Delhi. It said that their prototype was based on an idea that people should know what they breathe. So the device uses sensors to depict AQI levels in 100 meters vicinity. So such equipments have been developed. On page 6 you have Kartarpur corridor will remain open. So Punjab Chief Minister Marinder Singh has said that the Kartarpur corridor would remain open regardless of security concerns. So there was furor in Punjab Legislative Assembly over Director General of Police statement on the threat from the Kartarpur corridor. Then this is UP government changes state university name partially. So, this is the name of the university, Khwaja Mahinuddin Chishti Urdu Arbi Farsi University, which is a state university in Lucknow. So, BJP government and UP has decided to change its name. So, university will now be called Khwaja Mahinuddin Chishti Basha Bhasha Vishwa Vidyalaya. On page 8, you have very Kerala government withdraws proposal for pubs, breweries. Instead, cabinet now gives a fillip to toddy sector that employs thousands of workers. So, toddy means uh, they see that. So, the Kerala government has bid to create, uh, earlier it had a bid to create late night world of pubs and bars to attract global investors and move the IT workforce. But now it will not implement that and it has walked back on this proposal and now will implement a relatively non-restrictive liquor policy that entails breweries, draught beer pubs, you know, and reduce the number of dry days and enhanced bar timings. So, this decision has been taken. Then on page 9 you have EAC defers nod for parliament revamp. So, this is Central Vista project. So, Apex Environmental Panel has cited petitions pending before the Delhi High Court and has refused to give approval for Parliament revamp. So, there is a petition in Delhi High Court that has ple pleaded that no environment clearance be given as the alteration which is planned 
as such for parliamentary event uh, as such will involve land use change not in conformity with delhi master plan for 2020 so here you can see this is expert appraisal committee eac so the decision of the as eac to be is to be conveyed to by the to the court as soon as possible So here you can see Central Vista Redevelopment Project involves redeveloping three kilometer stretch from Rashtrapati Bhavan to India Gate in Lutyens, Delhi. And uh, you can see the new parliament proposed it was a new was a new triangular parliament building that is targeted to be constructed by August 2022. So this is there. So Central Public Works Department applied to the Environment Ministry as part of the formal process. Seeking permission to fall 194 trees and plant 250 new trees as compensation, but department has asserted that there are there were no case court cases pending against the project or the land. So the two petitions filed in the Delhi court against Delhi Development Authorities proposed land use change for the new parliament is there, but uh, Environment Ministry refused. Because the land use change is taking place, land earmarked for recreational purpose has been changed in the master plan of Delhi. So it has been changed from recreational use to parliament house. On the editorial page, the first editorial is a test of governance. So this is regarding Delhi protests in Northeast Delhi, which are now turning into communal violence with pro and anti ca protesters you know clashing so it says police must clamp down on the communal violence in delhi and below you have crisis in malaysia so this is regarding the, the political crisis in malaysia the it is said a power hungry mahathir has pushed malaysia towards political instability so malaysian prime minister mahathir mohammed abruptly resigned and has triggered the first major political crisis in the country since 2018 general elections. So, the reform process initiated by the coalition government could be uh, upturned now. Then the lead article is rights, duties and the constitution. So it says it is only after a guarantee of the sum of all promised by the constitution that citizens can be asked to do their duty. So, this article talks about what is the relation between rights, duties as under the constitution. And this is more psychological than an empowering voter option. So, this is regarding NOTA, none of the above. So, the meager share of NOTA votes and NOTA in the current form are pointer, pointers to its toothless or being a toothless option because even if NOTA has got maximum votes, uh, uh, no, and none, no, more than even any other candidate, still NOTA will not have any significance. It will be the second best to vote for the candidate, any candidate which will be selected as first past the post and the winner of the election. So that is it. So it says it's more psychological and it's not an em empowering voter option. Then on opet page you have this article two rising powers in two different eras so this is regarding comparison between rise of china and rise of imperial germany so this article says that this comparison is not accurate so, so anti china strategic alliance is yet to sh take shape despite us's earnest efforts india is also wary of joining any american defense bloc aiming to contain china especially in the indo pacific This article talks about how this comparison, economic rise and strategic consequences which are there, which China has seen as the, now the world's second largest military spender after US. So it has developed, China has developed itself as the mightiest force in Asia Pacific. But then it cannot be compared to Imperial uh, Germany. So this is the Germany during the period of World War. Then this is counting birds together. So this is regarding State of India's birds report. 
So this article says there are two distinctive features of this report this year as, which define a new approach. So it was a collective attempt to gather the data. So, and there are several species including globally threatened one whose populations are showing declines in the report. So it was a collaborative effort. That is the distinctive feature you can see. Information it builds on came from citizens uh, all across. And the report's data and analysis are in the public domain. So it is inviting critique and further refinement. So these are the distinctive features of State of India Birds Report. So this is regarding India-US relations. You can see the ties have been upgraded and it, President Trump has also called on Pakistan to curb terror. So this is a joint statement which has been issued. So these are various army arm deals, you know, defense deals which have been signed as such between India and USA. Then on international page, again you have news regarding coronavirus spread and here you can see even US-China rift widening. So this is also a reason why Trump and Modi are coming closer. So this is the news analysis on US relations with India as well as with China. Then on business page you have BS6 fuel cells may be on cards. So India is getting up to implement Bharat stage 6 fuel. That is the world's cleanest fuel for now. So this will be implemented across the country from 1st April 2020. Indian oil market companies have made a representation to the government to, to recover about 35,000 crore invested in upgrading their refineries to produce BS6 fuel. So now since they have spent 35,000 crores, the oil marketing companies plan to recover this money. So they will impose a cess of 0.7 rupees to 1 rupee on every litre of petrol and diesel. And this is Mauritius foreign portfolio investors can continue to invest in India. So this is what SEBI has said. It had placed the island nation Mauritius in grey list, but foreign portfolio investors can continue to invest. And this is Indian refiners buy crude bound for China at deep, deep discounts. So the Indian, <laughs> Indian refiners are buying crude oil headed to China at deep discounts because the world's largest importer of oil has cut its refining output by over 1.5 million barrels per day because of the worsening effect of coronavirus on energy markets. So that is that. This is ADB Asian Development Bank lists masala bonds on India INX. So this is a 10 year masala bond. So you should know what is a masala bond. So it, this has been listed by Asian Development Bank on the global debt listing platform of India INX. So you should know what are masala bonds. Masala bonds are bonds issued outside India. But they are denominated in Indian rupee rather than the local currency of the country where they are issued. So the word masala is uh, referring to spices, referring to India in a way. So this was a term used by International Finance Corporation. So there are dollar bonds. So this is not a dollar bond, this is a masala bond. So borrower takes the currency risk. So masala bonds make the, uh, borrower generally take the, the currency risk, but masala bonds make the investors bear the risk. So first masala bond was issued by World Bank back the International Finance Corporation in 2014 when it raised 1000 crore bonds to fund infrastructure projects in India. So this is the, so you should know the term. These are not dollar denominated bonds but Indian rupee denominated bonds. So any change in the currency, fluctuation in the currency has to be borne by the investor. So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.